Aloha! Welcome to my channel. My name is Allison and I make cleaning and lifestyle videos every week. Make sure you subscribe down below so you don't miss any new videos. Today I'm doing a product review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Bissell Power Force Compact Vacuum. I did buy this with my own money. I do have a robotic vacuum that I like to use, however, it doesn't do a very good job of getting my stairs. So I wanted something small and lightweight that I could use to vacuum my stairs. I thought I'd show it to you and review it and tell you if I like it or not. I have never used this vacuum before, so it's still new in the box. So I'm going to open it and give you my overall review of the product. It is very lightweight. You can see I can lift it very easily. It's a really small little vacuum. And I will put the price over here so you have an idea of what it costs. It was very inexpensive. This was actually the least expensive one at the store. I got this at Walmart and it was their cheapest one. So this is probably so this is probably one of the cheapest vacuums on the market. I really just didn't want to spend a lot of money just to do my stairs. So that is what this is. So let's I'm gonna get it open and then we'll start talking about the product. And I'll just show you to you what is inside the box here. This is how it comes packaged. You can see there's a couple little pieces and some attachments. There's some attachments and a little guidebook inside. Also, this is a bagless vacuum. There are no bags that go with this. It just goes into the little clear canister in the front. I don't know if you've ever used a bagless vacuum, but I really like them. They're a lot nicer than having to mess with bags, in my opinion. I believe this is a piece that goes in top. Yeah, and this is what it looks like when I push the handle in. Pretty simple. And it did come with these two small attachments. It did come with these two attachments. So these should be pretty handy, I think. I'll probably use this one more than I would this one, but you can use whatever you need for your personal needs. And I do really like the color. It's got sort of a teal accent on it. They had one that was sort of a reddish orange color and a green one as well at the store that were similar, but a little bit different. But I did like the coloring on this one. I think I'm just, I'm not even gonna really read the manual. I wanna see how easy this is to figure out. It looked very simple. I was able to just put in the handle without reading anything. But I'm gonna see if I can just figure out how to use it without messing with reading anything. And if not, then we'll take another path. Okay, so I plugged it in. I'm really curious to see how loud this is gonna be. That's gonna really affect my opinion of this vacuum. I really don't like really loud vacuums because they scare my cats. And I just don't like a lot of noise. I'm hoping this is quiet, but it was also pretty inexpensive. So sometimes the inexpensive vacuums are a little more on the noisy side. So I'll see. There are two buttons, a green and a, well, a teal and a, there's two buttons, a teal and a red. So I'm just gonna mess with them and see what happens here. So this one here is the release on the outside, so I think this must be the on button. Yeah, I do think it's pretty loud, but I'm not surprised by that at all because of the cost. So this is a noisy vacuum. If you're looking for a quiet vacuum, this is not the one that you want. But if you don't mind the noise, then it's probably a good value for you. You know, if it does a good job vacuuming, we'll find out here. You can see there's a tiny little bit of a, like a dust cat hair thing inside there just from running it for a few seconds so it did pick something up so that's pretty good i'm just going to scoot this back and run it so you can see it running for a minute so i just ran it around my vacuum and you can see it actually put, picked up a whole lot of hair and things you know i haven't vacuumed with my little vacuum in a little bit but it picked up a lot which tells me there's a really good amount of suction at least to start out I don't know how long the suction will last. I have had vacuums that after six months they lose their suction. So I don't know how long this will last to be this strong of a suction, but maybe I'll post an update in the comments down the road. Um, now I just want to empty the canister and kind of give you an idea of how easy that is to do. So it looks like there's a release here. So I'm gonna try that to empty the canister. Okay, yeah, you just push down and it lifts up and it comes out here. And there's a sign that says uh, pull for filter. It comes right up. Now, I didn't read any of the directions. I'm just doing this by looking at it. So I think it's pretty user-friendly. You don't have to be, you know, real technical to be able to figure out how to work this. Seems pretty self-explanatory. And I'm just going to go and dump this in the trash. Here's a little button that says push to empty that you can just dump everything out of. And I'm just going to snap it back in. Yeah, snapped right back in really easily. 
Now there is a little thing on the side, which I think is for the attachment. So I want to try this out on my stairs. You can see here's a little hose and I'm going to use one of the filter attachments on the hose. And I'll be using this one and I'm just going to snap it down in. Okay, so I've got my vacuum attachment and I'm just going to try it out on my stairs. I think it did a really good job on my stairs. It was actually pulling dirt to it. I might try to show a close-up of what it looked like. But it was really having a lot of suction and pulling things towards it. So yeah, I'm pretty impressed. It did scare my cat. She ran up the stairs because of the noise but it did a really good job of cleaning. Yeah, I have to say I'm really impressed with this little vacuum. It's been really powerful. It was inexpensive. I think it's really aesthetically pleasing and it's very lightweight. So I think it's got a lot of really great qualities. If you're looking for a good starter vacuum, I would recommend this. I like the handle design. I think it's really smart. So I think Bissell did a good job of designing this vacuum and it's really user friendly. I didn't read anything. I could just plug things in and use it without having to try to figure out what I was doing. Everything just was easy and quick. So I think it's a really impressive little vacuum, especially for the cost, which I think was maybe around $60, considering that most vacuums cost upwards of $200 for a really good quality one. I think that's a really good deal. It's a great bargain. And yeah, I would definitely recommend picking this up if you were looking for a good starter vacuum. Now I may change my mind, you know, a month down the road if it breaks or something, but I'll let you know down below if I have any thoughts that change on this vacuum. But overall, yeah, I'm really impressed with how this is working. It's strong and light and easy to use. Yeah, I'll definitely be using this a lot in the future. So I definitely recommend picking this up. I really do like this product. I think I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5 stars. And I'm really only knocking down a star because of the noise that it makes. So if you're not bothered by a loud noise, I would say pick this up. Yeah, it's a great little product. I really, I really like this product, so I'm glad I bought it. I'll definitely use it a lot in the future. So I hope this video was helpful for you. Let me know what kind of vacuum you like to use too. So thank you so much for coming by and I hope you all have a beautiful day today.